Hello, my name is Megan McDonald and I am your independent Norwex sales consultant. I've already told you about the effectiveness of our products. Let me tell you specifically about why Norwex's microfiber is different from any other microfiber you're going to get at the store. In order for something to be considered microfiber, uh, it has to be 1 16th of a human hair that's sliced in half. Okay, Norwex's microfiber, each thread that makes up this cloth, is 1 200th of a human hair cut in half. If I were to unravel my Enviro cloth, I would have 1,600 miles of cloth or thread and fiber, and that would stretch from Canada to Mexico. That's a lot of cleaning power in a cloth. So I can use one cloth for a lot of jobs, rinse it out and go again. I've used this for high efficiency washers, um, really germy areas, a lot of windows at one time, and it really does a great job picking up dirt because of all of that, those fibers. Um, that's our threading. Another thing that makes Norwex's microfiber unique is that we have a triangular weave. The way that our claws are woven together um, prevents our claws from transferring the germs that they picked up back onto the surface that you just wiped down. And I'm going to show you about that in just a second. The third thing that makes our claws unique is that they are embedded with silver. Silver um, is an agent, um, perhaps you've heard of sylvidine, something that you use on burn victims to uh, prevent infection. Uh, silver is used as a purification agent. Our cloths use microfiber, meaning my cleaning cloth actually cleans and purifies itself. So within 24 hours of use, once I wet my cloth, wring it out to dry and hang it back up, once it starts drying, and I, I would hang it on my little tag for it to dry, once it starts drying, it starts purifying against mold, fungi, bacteria, all of those nasty things that cause odor. That's why I'm able to use my cloths on just everyday typical jobs for about a week before they start to smell like a regular cloth would. These cloths disinfect themselves once they get a hold of the bacteria. So our cloths are unique because of their threading, their triangular weave, and especially because of our silver. Anything you see in our catalog that says anti-back or backlock on it has the silver in it. So that's very important to look for. Now, um, I told you about the triangular weave and the silver and those are big deals and I'm going to show you why. One of the nastiest things in your kitchen is going to be raw meat, specifically raw chicken. So I'm going to show you today a little test. You've probably seen it before. This is called the raw chicken test. So I've got my raw chicken. My lighting's not great. Alright, I've got the raw chicken. And what I'm going to do is take my raw chicken, and notice I'm not afraid to touch it with my hands. I'm going to, I don't know if you can see it, wipe this on my surface really quickly, get it nice and wet. And I'm going to have my Enviro cloth, and I've already wet my Enviro cloth. This is my everything cloth. Um, it can disinfect counters, any of your hard surfaces. And um, where I touch the chicken, I'm going to just go ahead and wipe my fingers on my cloth because that silver is going to help disinfect my fingers. I trust my cloth. I know that it's going to do a good job cleaning my fingers just like it would clean the surface. So once my fingers are clean, um, I'm going to find, you see this spot right here, I'm going to find where my chicken juice is, and I'm going to make sure that my cloth is folded flat, and of course I told you it was wet. I wet it with cold water so I can keep those fibers nice and tight so they're not going to transfer the bacteria back onto the surface. If I had used warm water or hot water, I'd be opening up my fibers, and we don't want that. That's how we clean the cloths. We want our fibers nice and tight so they're picking up bacteria and not releasing it. Uh, so what I've got, I've got my cloth that's folded and nice and flat. I don't want any, I don't want it balled up because I don't want there to be any um, spaces where I might miss something. So I want it nice and flat so that the surface is completely covered. So I've got my chicken juice right here. And I'm going to just take one good wipe. 
of the chicken juice and well, maybe one more wipe just to make sure that I've got all the juice and that's not just water. All right, this is the side that I used to wipe with. So we're just going to leave that right here. And here's where my contaminant was. Now, I have my ProClean test with me today. And this is a protein test. And the way it works is that if it's green, there is no protein detected. And if it's purple, that means there is protein detected, which means our surface isn't clean. The goal of a cleaner is to get all of the contaminants off of the surface. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my swab, you can see that, and I'm going to just very thoroughly try to wipe down the surface where the chicken was. Okay. Now remember, I'm going to pop my solution. All right, and I know my lighting is not great, but I hope you can see that this is, in fact, green. I might bring this up a little bit. Okay. Looks hard to see. All right. So it is, in fact, green. All right, but we're going to make sure that our cloth didn't transfer anything back onto the surface. So I'm going to go back to that surface right here and I'm going to swab again. And I'm going to look just real quickly. Well, it's not good to swab if I don't transfer it back, is it? So this is the side with the chicken on it. I'm going to wipe that spot right back down. So here's where the chicken was. I'm going to give it two good wipes. Okay. I'm going to try it again. Once again, I don't know if you can see it, but it is still, it's still green. Okay. So, now I'm going to actually just dab my cloth because that's where my contaminants went. And I'm going to try it again. Still green. All right, and just to show you that I'm not using fake chicken and that my protein test is, in fact, real, I'm going to just swab my chicken. And you can actually, I don't know if you can see that it's actually turning purple on the chicken. But it's going to automatically turn my swab that dark, dark purple color. Give it a couple of good shakes. And over time, it's going to get darker and darker, but you're going to see that my swab is, in fact, that dark purple. Okay, so I can trust my EnviroCloth to disinfect a surface completely.